Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to my channel. Good to have you here. Top of the morning, got some coffee. Whoop, a little bit of, right? You know what I'm talking about. This guy knows what I'm talking about. Hey, but it uh, been a while since I posted a video. So here's one for you. Going to be posting some more video game play uh, this month. I plan on doing, you know, a certain video for a certain day, game, a video, game, a day, kind of the, not every day, but certain days, I have a certain game that I put on the YouTube for everybody to watch, witness, and take part of. And let me tell you something, this cup right here that I'm holding of coffee, very hot, singeing the fingers. Ah, man. But yeah, good to uh, good to have you. Let me tell you something. Um, one thing, people, I'm gonna get messages. People talking about, hey man, hey man, man, hey, bro, man, where's your Modern Warfare 3 gameplay, bro, man, bro? Um, I'll tell you my my philosophy when it comes to Modern Warfare or Call of Duty games for that matter. The Call of Duty series works like this right these guys only have two years to make the game not enough time to find all the the hacks and exploits and glitches and weapon nerfs weapon buffs equipment buffs nerfs you know connection issues spawn issues you know blah, blah, blah. the list goes on and on I understand that they don't have enough time to sort all that stuff out right and then they're gonna you're gonna have people talking about oh well not every game that comes out is perfect. Granted, that is true, right? But there's a huge difference between a developer who does a beta and one that does not. And the... Mm, it's equivalent to this, right? You study for a test that's coming up. You know you're going to have a test. You study, you study... You're doing uh, sample tests at the back of every chapter, right? You're looking through. You go, okay, I'm good to go. I'm ready for this test, right? And then you got Johnny Hopscotch over here. Oh, I got it, man. I'll, well, I'll, I'll fiddle through it, you know, the night before. Whatever, what if I got it, right? But you've done your homework. You understand all the trick questions. You know what's going down. You take the test. You get an A, a minus, right? Me, maybe even this two, three. You got an A minus. But you did pretty damn good. Now Johnny Hopscotch over here, he got a D plus. He passes, whatever, but he got a D plus because he missed a lot of stuff. That's the equivalent of what a beta will do for a game when it drops on retail there. So what I do is this. I buy the game, play the single player campaign because that's what I love to do. I love to complete the story for whatever series that I'm uh, playing then go into the multiplayer fully knowing that 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 is a beta version of that multiplayer every Call of Duty is like that every single one because they don't have the time to do a beta make a beta set up a beta team to test all this crap out that they're gonna miss so I play it through a prestige maybe two figure out which weapons that I like that fit to my play style, which maps do I like, you know, which, you know, I get associated with all that stuff. And then I sit it on the shelf, right over here, take a look. And then I don't touch it till about spring, which is coming up real soon here. And you'll notice what games I have above that. Battlefield 3, Skyrim, Halo Reach, and uh, sometimes throw some Gears 3 in there. But that's, that's the gist of it, right? I come back to it in the springtime. Nothing wrong with that. Because I understand what's going on with this game. What's going on with that camera? It's craziness right now. But uh, that's why you're not seeing any Modern Warfare 3 games. I barely play it. Man, this is so good. Let me take, let me take a... S oh, man. Enjoyable. So that's the reason why. But you're going to start seeing some of that pretty soon. Because spring time is almost a bonus. You're going to start seeing some videos. So thanks for joining me here on this beautiful Sunday. 
a day of sun. <laughs> it's actually kind of cloudy out there. Whatever. Take it easy.